Okay, I completely forgot to record today. Um, it's 7 19 p.m. right now. We are Monday, December 12. My first order was not a great order. It was like $13, not going too far. Honestly, I just wanted to do something at that point. I was like, hey, I've been waiting for a million years. Let me do something. So that was easy enough. I was going to an apartment. Basically, it was like five items and the paper towels were out of stock so i replaced it with something else more expensive because that's the only thing there was and she wasn't answering the phone so i was not waiting she tipped five dollars which is pretty good because her order was not that big it was literally really 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 small order and then after this i had a 19 dollar order on doordash going so so far away i still don't know if it was the correct thing to do um accepting this order because basically it took me so far away from where i am usually and basically it was an okay order it was easy to shop for she wanted like a bunch of one liter bottles and ice cube if i remember correctly and some like salami or something the thing is so traffic is going that way so it took me 20 minutes just to drive there it was like five miles 20 minutes so that's why usually when i see people in videos they're like 10 miles it took me 10 minutes i'm like i, I can't do this here in my market there some people are like oh you you don't take anything over four miles and i'm like you know i don't because I can't waste my time driving 30 minutes just to do five miles, you know? I kind of got lucky because just as I was hitting complete, I got a $23 order for Albertsons, which is like behind where she was. And basically Albertsons, it's like seven miles from my house up north. So I was pretty far, but it was only going three, three miles because I was like two miles away from the store. So I took it and he chose replacements for everything he lived on like a street where i could park he gave instructions so it wasn't it was not a bad order i'm actually happy that i got this one because you know driving seven miles or six miles for 19 bucks and then coming back i would have been like yeah that was kind of useless but I was able to make $23 more than what I expected. Then I came back here. I got a $16 order on Uber Eats going for four miles. Again, it took me 15 minutes. And she wanted three items. Crackers, chocolate, and a toilet plunger. And I actually already delivered to her once. And she was answering the phone. She was really, really nice. That was a long time ago and I've been waiting since then. So it's very, very, very slow. Uh, well, it's Monday, you know? I don't really like waiting forever because it's just a waste of my time at this point. At this point, it's 7.25 right now. So I am not at $100. I am like uh, $43, $73 right now. So yeah, if I could get like a, a $27 order, that would be amazing because honestly, Mondays, it's either, okay, on Mondays in my market, either you come and you stay for 12 hours just to make a hundred bucks, either you come later in the day and you don't make a hundred bucks. So you get to choose your poison. Grubhub. $10 for six miles. No. Okay, I finally have an order that's not 15 miles away so i have accepted a 19 dollar order going 1.8 miles but obviously there is a catch there is a pack of water like the only feasible doable order of the day that's not over five miles has a pack of water in it obviously right and it's going to an apartment obviously I don't think I've ever delivered to that person. Uh, I don't remember that name ever. Koi, C-O-I. 18 items, so the pack of water, Cheetos, Oreos, um, Teddy Grahams, bagels, bananas, orange, yogurt, spoons, and 
cream cheese. Uh, let's go. All right. This $19 order I stacked with a $15 order on DoorDash going kind of like the exact opposite way, but it was only like one mile. So it was like, whatever. Um, because this $15 order literally puts me just over $100 if my calculations are correct. They were both answering the phone and basically when I arrived, I moved my car at Pavilions to be closer to the entrance and it said low tire. I was like, seriously? So I went to deliver to the DoorDash customer first because she was closer. And when I delivered to the Uber Eats one, she was like, oh, I thought you were parking on the other side. And I was like, I was searching for a low, for a tire pressure place because I thought I could do it like really quickly. And she was like, oh, okay. And you know, I was like, I'm not gonna tell her because she probably um, tipped pretty well. So I didn't want her to think that I was, you know, putting her order after somebody else. And now I'm gonna go home. It's 8.40 p.m. I think I've done my due diligence today. I have waited in my car forever. I have done the orders that were, that usually I would not have done, like that $19 order for six miles, honestly. I'm not sure I should have done it, but at the same time, I'm not sure I would have had anything else if I didn't do it. So it was not an amazing day. It was just a Monday, you know? So now I think I'm gonna go to McDonald's, pick up some food for myself, and then head, ha head home. I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Peace.